We've all been talking about Stonewall riot survivors. <laughs> I'm an Astor Place riot survivor. <laughs> I know some people say that wasn't quite gay enough. But damn it, four people killed over which production of Macbeth was better? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they told me I had two minutes. And I said, I'm Walt Whitman from the Brooklyn. <laughs> two minutes. Fortunately, I do have a poem under two minutes, and it's from the Calamus section. And uh, some people think it's a very beautiful homosexual book. <laughs> and in fact, it is. <laughs> and it begins. <clears throat> When I heard at the close of the day of the plaudits given my name to the capital, still it was not a happy day for me that followed. Nor when I caroused, nor when my plans were accomplished, was I happy. And I should tell you, we have puppetry in my show. We performed the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, thanks to the Bichaw sisters, Deborah and Michelle. And we also have a young chap flying in from County Cork, Ireland, to play Peter Doyle, the young Irishman that Whitman was so in love with, although he was in love with a lot of Irishmen <laughs> of a certain age. Now, uh, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to skip to the uh, end of my beautiful two-minute poem. <laughs> because really, you just want the famous lines. <laughs> I heard the waters roll slowly, continually up the shores. I heard the hissing rustle of the liquid and sands whispering to congratulate me. For the one I love lay sleeping by my side, under the same cover in the cool night. And in the stillness, his face was inclined forward me, while the moon's clear beams shone and his arm lay lightly over my breast. And that night, I was happy. Mm. See you all the 27th of July, 17th.